All right, so this is today's project. We are gonna be trying to put in a boulder retaining block wall. Um, and I am, if you'll notice all the red clay is a little different from the sand and mud that I'm usually in. And uh, so I am up here in North Georgia in the foothills on a good friend of mine's property. It's about eight acres or so. And um, we got this uh, little cut in right here. We're gonna be putting in a wall. And then I think down there as well. So we got these stones. And uh, yesterday I went and got this brand new set of MTL uh, forks for the skid steer pallet forks, uh, 48 inch, 5,000 pound rated. These things are nice. Also got this cool little step side on the side step here to get in and out of the machine on both sides. So I'm uh, really excited to try out these things. I got my uh, good buddy in the, uh, got a 13 year old operator in the machine today. And uh, he's gonna be moving some of these pallets and we're gonna have a good time out here today. So we gotta move these rocks out of the way cause we gotta knock down this hill of dirt here, uh, right here to grade out uh, um, our wall here, this hill where our wall is gonna go behind here so we can get the, uh, the elevation and the grade right. So first we gotta move these rocks. So he's gonna come over here and pick these rocks up and we're gonna, I don't know, we're gonna move them somewhere. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm super excited to see how the forks do and get those uh get those tried out so let's move some uh let's move some pallets you got it perfect that's good you're good pick it up There you go, that's good. Dragging the ground a little bit.
Okay, so we got our uh, our pallets moved. Some of them we got over here. Some of them we got put down there. And so all this is going to get regraded, get this knocked down, and um, get all this cleaned up and graded out so we can get our rock wall in. So we're going to take the forks off the skid steer, put the bucket back on, and get to grading. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Nice. We can take it from there. We got it from there. Emerson, go help him get the next one. You sure you don't need help with this one? Wedge this thing into place, maybe. I don't know. Good. 
I think you're good right there. Just back up. Just back up, Dad. Perfect. All right, guys. Just want to give a quick disclaimer here. This is definitely not a how-to when it comes to building a uh, boulder retaining wall. None of us have ever done this. Not myself, nor the my good buddy who's the homeowner here. So we're just kind of feeling our way through this, doing the best we can, and uh, just trying to get the look right um, and uh, making sure they we get them where we want them. This isn't going to be a very tall wall, so we're not too worried about blowout. And then once the big stones get placed, uh, the plan is is to come back at uh, um, later on and uh, fill in some of the little gaps with smaller stones with uh, with colored mortar to hold everything together. So that should keep any serious blowouts from uh, or any any water from leaking through the stones and taking any mud with it or any soil. So, but that should still allow for pretty good drainage. So that's what we're gonna do kind of work our way through this and just see how it goes just bringing you guys along for the ride as usual so let's uh let's keep at it This is not OSHA approved. Do not try this Good. at home. Here, watch your fingers. Uh, well, we can pick it up, I think.
it's day two of the boulder project and uh, this ended my day yesterday um you can see let me move this dirt um i'll show you down in there so the bearing in the idler uh on if you're sitting in the machine it would be the left side went out on us yesterday so you can see it's the idler is rubbing up against the frame right here so i can still move the machine it'll still run uh or move but um it uh that bearing is gone so the machine is out of action so we got a takuchi tl8 on rental that came this morning so we're not uh out of commission but this thing is down but uh i'm gonna go check there's a, a flint here there's one in north georgia and then there's also one down in atlanta so i'm gonna check the one in atlanta tomorrow because it's that's a big flint um dealership there it's, it's huge so i'm gonna go there uh tomorrow or uh monday in the morning be there early 7 30 to see if they have that part and uh, since we've got this rental and we have the pallet forks we're gonna see if we can um, get the tracks off and replace that uh, uh that idler because it's really just a bolt in there we should just come right out and then we may go ahead and replace that sprocket too while we've got the tracks off on this side and just do that as well um we'll have to see if they i gotta see if they have these parts but if they do that's what we're gonna do but today we'll keep on keeping on with the little takuchi and uh if we end up doing that um i will make a video of replacing all that so that should be interesting um the uh my buddy who owns this property his father-in-law is here and he has a lot of experience uh repairing and fixing uh skid steers so um i feel pretty confident with with him here that we can do this so um, we'll see if we have the parts and we'll get to it, but uh, we're going to keep on with the wall. More to come.
All right, guys, here's the wall, the two walls we did. This is the bottom that came out right here. Still got to set that big stone at the bottom later after this all gets kind of graded out a little bit better. And this is the top wall. And you see we graded out the hump here, got this slope down. This will probably get a little more, be built back up maybe a little more and uh, and graveled out. Still got a little hill there, I think the grade, but um, yeah, it came out, came out really well. I'm really happy with it. And, and uh, my buddy is too, he's really happy. We got some extra stones here to place. They're gonna, I think those are gonna place those in the back for a fire pit. And I wanna show you guys else. I didn't make a video of this, but we also did this project right here. We um, we put these stone steps in. This was really cool. This this came out really cool. So this was it was a it was a beast of a job, but it it looks so awesome. And uh, it was kind of tricky getting the little skid steer in here, that little Takeuchi TL8 to bring these stones in and get them up this hill, but. Uh, it really came out well that'd give you a better idea um, and then we're going to basically stop that's going to be the last stone and then they're going to kind of grade back this way grade this down for drainage and uh we didn't someone else put this wall in i think the builder of the house had this had this put in because these were some really big stones here but uh we didn't do this <laughs> but we did this and this just i mean it looks so cool the way it came out so everyone's really happy with that so really cool project i was i'm really glad and thankful that i was able to come up here and do this project uh for a good buddy of mine and um uh learned a lot and had a great time and worked hard and and i uh, got to spend some good time with some good friends and uh that's what it's all about so i hope you guys are having a good week and i will catch you on the next job